once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today, before I talk about wallet sciatica, I just wanted to make a quick observation about other fitness channels on YouTube. And I've noticed that they're kind of like a piece of chewing gum. They've been chewed up, used up of other flavor, and spit out onto the sidewalk. Because it's pretty much the same videos from them again and again. It's videos on workouts, eating, and motivation. Workouts, eating, motivation. They don't really deviate from that. And on many of these channels, you would struggle to find one video in ages that they've done that give you quality advice that you can take with you. And my channel won't be that. My channel will give you actual advice that you can take with you beyond the entertainment value that you get from watching these other channels for two minutes, like a piece of chewing gum. You are entertained by it for two minutes, and then you spit it out. But with me, you're gonna get advice that you can actually take with you beyond the video. So with that being said, let's get into the topic of what wallet sciatica is. So guys, with this video on wallet sciatica, the overall point of it is going to be to convince you to not put your wallet in your back pocket when you sit, but your side pocket. Because wallet sciatica, it's also known as piriformis syndrome, and the piriformis muscle is a muscle in your butt. And this muscle is relevant because the largest nerve in your body, the sciatic nerve, depending on how you were born, it can travel through the piriformis muscle or underneath it. So if you have the wallet there and you're constantly sitting on that wallet and you're compressing that muscle, then over time your piriformis muscle can become inflamed. When it becomes inflamed, it can then encroach upon the sciatic nerve. And that can lead to the symptoms of sciatica, which is pretty much pain, tingling, numbness, and a burning sensation going all the way down your leg, all the way to your foot. And that definitely isn't fun. You don't want that to happen. So to avoid that happening, all you do is you take your wallet and you put it in your side pocket rather than your back pocket. And the second reason why you should not put your wallet in your back pocket is because it elevates one part of your body relative to the other part. So take this skeleton here. If this is his posterior, let's say that the wallet is on his right side and it's pushing up his right side. What's going to happen? Well, this side will shorten and this side will lengthen. So basically, one, he's going to hip hike on one side. So if this side is shortening and this side is lengthening, if he's doing that for days, weeks, months, even years, then eventually you're go he's going to get a muscular imbalance because this side is going to be shortened and this side is going to be lengthened. So that's the second reason why you should not sit on your wallet. The area you sit on should be level and the wallet is going to heighten one side compared to the other. So guys, basically that's two reasons why you should not sit on your wallet. You can get wallet sciatica and over time it can cause a muscular imbalance. Hopefully that is good quality advice you can take with you. There will be plenty more from me in the future. If you like the video, please thumb it up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you guys later.